those eyelashes. <laughs> it must have been fed. fed or something. Yeah, this is so weird. Like ground hornbills. Usually like way in the bush. Not these guys. They're super friendly. So we are looking for rhino in the south of, of Kruger, just south of Skakuza. And this is the only sign of rhino we've found so far. A very big midden. So that's where the males come to to mark their territory. They use them as their kind of toilets. They'll come to specific middens that they have throughout the bush and use those. And then you'll see just over there is a rubbing post which they'll use to to give themselves a nice little scratch and perhaps move, uh, remove some parasites. So we're here watching a very relaxed little male skin book. They have scent glands in their hooves. It's been crystal clear today. You might want to make it a bit bigger. Okay, here we are with some tourists. They've been spending time with a leopard tortoise here. And this is what a safari experience is all about. It's not only about all the big and celebrated animals. Yeah, nice to come across some spotted hyenas. That reminds us obviously of moving these animals into Zanav for the first time in many years. So these white-backed vultures here are quite endangered now. Traditional African cultures have a lot of beliefs around certain vulture body parts, for example, the eyes, uh, which they believe can, can help them see into the future because the vultures have such an incredible eyesight. Peace Parks Foundation recognizes the powerful impact of being out in the bush and on safari. It is this connection to the world around them that is so vital in everything that Peace Parks does. From reconnecting landscapes to connecting with partners, communities and wildlife.